Become a channel member to gain early access to all 5M scripting videos. Hey guys, it's Alpha, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create your first resource in your 5M server. This resource will have two commands. It will be slash car to spawn a vehicle and slash DV to delete the vehicle. So we'll start off by heading to our server directory and we'll go into resources. And we're just going to grab our template resource that we made we made in episode one and we'll just copy and paste it and then we'll call this car dv command with some dashes you can't have spaces in the folder names or anything like that by the way so we'll just head into here so we're not going to need our server.lua so we'll delete that client.lua and fx manifest we will need we're also going to make one more called functions.lua So we'll start off by heading into our fx manifest.lua and we can get rid of the server scripts and files. In client scripts, we're just going to indent by pressing tab and then we're going to add client.lua, add a comma, and then on the next line, we're going to do functions.lua. Like so. And then we can call this car and car spawning and deleting command like so we'll save that and then we can just minimize that and open client and functions with code brilliant so we'll start off with our client.lua in here we're going to do register command like so and then in some brackets we're going to just put car that will be the command so if you wanted to do slash spawn vehicle instead you'd put spawn vehicle in there then comma function and we're going to do source so this is the, the source of the the, the the function so who who called it basically who's who's running the command and arg so that's arguments so we get for example the name of the vehicle that we're trying to spawn and then we're going to bring the last bracket down and we're just going to put end comma false and then inside here indented we're just going to put local vehicle equals args one or we'll do we'll do tailgater which is the name of the vehicle uh not tailgater tailgater like so uh, so what this is is basically it'll get the argument so if we do slash car uh adder it will it will get adder as the vehicle that we're trying to spawn but if we don't enter anything if we just do slash car it will do a tailgater as a default vehicle to spawn um, and then we're going to run a function we'll call this spawn vehicle Obviously, we haven't made this yet, but we'll make this in functions.lua in a minute. Uh, and then in here, we'll put vehicle as the vehicle that we're trying to spawn. And we're just going to make another command for deleting the vehicle. So we'll register command once again. And just like before, we'll put dv instead. And then function. And source. If I can spell. There we go. We don't need to do arguments in this one because we're not trying to specify a specific vehicle. It will just delete the vehicle that we're in. Uh, and then obviously we'll do end false. And then we'll run the function delete vehicle. We'll just put some brackets in there like so. It just had an error, so I've just checked it. And uh, on line one of the client.lua, I accidentally put functions instead of function. So just delete the S if you followed along with that. Uh, it should just be function on its own. Just for that now we're going to head into our functions.lua and define the functions so we'll do function spawn vehicle like so and then in brackets we'll put vehicle because obviously we've got to specify the type of vehicle that we're going to spawn and we'll just add an end at the end there we go so in here we'll do local vehicle name equals vehicle or and we'll do tailgater once again you don't need to do it on both. If you do it on one, it should work, but I'm just going to do it on both as uh, just to be safe, basically. And then we'll do if not is model in CD image. I spell that correctly, I believe so. Yeah. And then vehicle name, like so. Or not is model a vehicle and then vehicle name once again then oh outside of the brackets sorry there we go then what this is is basically just checking is the vehicle 
is it a real vehicle basically if i just put a random bunch of letters obviously that's not a real vehicle so i won't try and spawn it uh if, if it is basically so what we'll do is we'll do motor fire and then we'll put vehicle not recognized like so and then we're just gonna need to make a notify function later on but we'll leave that there for now and then we'll put return and n for the if like so uh, but then, if not, we'll just do request model vehicle name, like so. And then while not as model loaded, that's not as well loaded, like so. And then vehicle name once again. And that'll be do. Oh, that's not do. There we go. And then we'll do wait 500. So this is in milliseconds. So it'll wait half a second, basically. And we'll end that. And then we'll do local player head equals player head ID. And on the next line, we'll do local pause for position equals get entity awards and we'll do player ped so and that's just getting the coordinates of our player and then if is ped in any vehicle player ped comma true then we'll delete that vehicle because we don't want to spawn another vehicle if the player's already in a vehicle. So we'll delete the vehicle that they're currently in uh, before we spawn the new vehicle, basically. And then we'll do local vehicle equals create vehicle. And then it'll be vehicle name. And we'll do pos.x, pos.y, pos.z. And then we'll do get entity heading player head and then outside of the first bracket put a comma true comma false like so and then we'll do set ped into vehicle and then we'll do player ped and vehicle and then we'll do minus one like so and then we'll do set entity as no longer needed. Brilliant. And then vehicle. And then set model as no longer needed. And vehicle name for this one so and then we'll do notify once again and then this one will put vehicle spawned brilliant and then that should be everything for spawning a vehicle uh, so we'll just do the function for deleting a vehicle and then we'll do the function for notifying so we do delete vehicle like so and then we'll put an end and then inside of it we'll put local player ped just like before equals player ped id brilliant and then we'll do local vehicle equals get vehicle ped is in and we'll do player ped comma true brilliant and what we'll do is delete entity vehicle and then we'll do a notify vehicle deleted brilliant we'll have to just put that in speech marks quick like so and we'll save that quickly and then we'll just add the function for notifying as well function notify and then we'll just put as a parameter we'll put text just so we can obviously specify the text that is notifying and then we'll do set notification 
text entry. And I'll put it as string in all caps, like so. And then we'll do add text component string. Put text. And then we'll do draw notification. And we'll put true, comma, false, like so. And that should be everything done for our functions. Another that we error that we had or on functions.lua uh, was for line three is model in CD image. The image has a lowercase i and not a capital Y. So as you can see here, we just got another error, uh, delete vehicle that is not recognized because basically I've got a, a lowercase d, uh, even though the function has a uppercase d. So I'm just going to change that by going into here and on line 14 where it says delete vehicle, I'll just change that to an uppercase D. I'll just make sure on here it's got that as well. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, so now what we can do is go back to our CFX server data and open resources.cfg. And in here I'm just going to ensure var-dv-command. I believe that was the name of our resource. So now if I run the server, it should start our script as, as you can see here started resource car dv command so now if i hop into 5m we can test out the script so we're back in and then we'll just do slash car adder obviously it spawns in the vehicle and if i try and spawn in another vehicle it should delete this one brilliant yeah and it puts us in the new one uh, so as you can see a vehicle spawn vehicle deleted it's getting rid of the old one uh, and then if i do slash dv it deletes the vehicle brilliant um, and i can spawn in another one so if I do a tailgater, or if I just don't do any, if I just do slash car, it should spawn a tailgater. Brilliant. So now we can see that all of that is working. And then we should lose all of our velocity if I delete whilst we're moving. Yeah, and we just stay on the spot. Brilliant. And as you can see, we've got no errors in the client console. So everything seems to be working as expected. As you can see, we've also got no errors in the server console. So everything is working as we hoped. So that is everything for today's video. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, share with your friends, and be sure to join our support Discord linked at the top of the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.